What's up guys? Let's take a look at the City of Tweak Switcher mod. So as you just saw, Switch Mod is this really cool way to exit apps uh, from your multitasking tray. It's made by the same people behind Zephyr. If you haven't seen my Zephyr video, just click on the iPod and an annotation will be there that'll take you straight to my Zephyr video. So as you can see, we're in the Settings app. I'm just going to take you uh, quickly through the settings. So you can see here, Switch Mod. Now we've got all sorts of settings. It is a fairly customizable tweak. So let's just uh, have a quick, uh, just I'll explain all of them. So show current app, what that means is if I go up, you can see the settings app is there and I'm actually in the settings app. So for some people they might want that, I personally don't like it. Now close box style, I've got a couple of options here, I've just set it to hidden because I find that uh, useful for me. If you go to red minus, see if you go up, oh let me just turn that back on, see if you go up, and you hold on it. Oh, you can't. Okay, hold on. Let me just open up the weather app again. Go back to settings. So if I go up, you can see the red dot, uh, the red minus sign is there by default. Or if you want, you can set it to a black X. And as you can see, you can just close apps like that. But I like to like uh, exit apps using the cool flick method. I just don't like having those um, icons there. So I've just set that to hidden. Hide icon labels. So if I turn that on, uh, oops, so you can see there, text doesn't appear underneath the icons anymore. No wiggle animation. So you know when you tap and hold, wiggles like that. I can turn that on and it won't wiggle. Now, wiggle fast grabbing. You want to have this on because if you want to quit a lot of apps very quickly, just open up couple of apps. Alright, so as you can see here, I've got a couple of apps here sitting in my um, settings tray. Some of them are dim, I'll explain that in a moment. So you want to have um, fast grabbing on because that means you can just tap and hold and just swipe away these apps really quickly. So it is pretty cool. Drag up to quit, you want that on to do what I just did. And then recent app icons, like if you don't have the app open, but uh, it's for some reason it's still sitting there in the multitasking tray and you don't like that you can just uh, set that to remove so it'll, um, it won't show those apps so some people might want that now we have this option here called uh, inactive recent icons alpha percentage what that means is if you have apps that are like they're sitting in your multitasking tray but they aren't actually open like the recent apps that you have open but they aren't actually like in your iOS devices memory uh, they will show up as, um, as uh, they'll be a little bit more transparent as you saw before. So if, if I open up a couple of apps here, open up my multitasking tray. Oh, okay, they're all, they're all working. Let me open up a couple more. See if that did it. Okay, so as you can see here, reminders and game center aren't actually running in the memory anymore. So um, they've actually dimmed out. And as you can see here, the App Store is still open, Notes is still open, and Settings is still open. Now I really love this feature because it can tell me which apps are open and which apps are just like pretending to be open. So that's it, uh, it's just a very quick look at the Switcher mod, City of Tweak. Can't remember whether it's paid or not, but you can get it from, I believe it's Mod My Eye or Big Boss. Anyway, you can just open up City of and um, search for it. It really is a, it's a very nice tweak. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend it, especially for you that have Zephyr. Uh, use it with that, it's really good. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.